Hi everybody, Rob here from Power Learning Solutions and today I'm going to be looking at Powtoon for a few minutes. Uh, I had a question from one of my students who is running into some issues with exporting a Powtoon video after she had spent many hours creating it. So I'm going to just uh, walk through a quick sample video that I've created in Powtoon and uh, in that video I have a few issues that might prevent you from exporting it and I'll show you how to address some of those common issues that I've seen. So here's my sample video. I've just got two slides created uh, with uh, some generic backgrounds and I have a couple of things in here that might be causing some issues. Uh, one of those is that I have uh, an animated character on here which is uh, dubbed as a pro character and uh, I've also used some of their uh, generic uh, background music. So let's take a quick look and see which ones cause some issues for us. So once you've got your video ready, I'm just going to give it a name here now. Okay, my Powtoon demo. And... Uh, I am going to hit on export here and you can see I'm getting prompted to uh, buy the pro plan or uh, to remove some of the content that's in here. So I don't want to buy the pro plan. I would never ask my students to do this uh, on top of all the fees that they pay for courses and stuff like that. So I'm not going to go that route to export it. I want to be able to export to, uh, to YouTube. Uh, if you want to be able to export and download it as an MP4 to your computer, you're definitely going to need to go with a pro plan. But you should be able to export it with this uh, created using Powtoon watermark on here uh, for free if you have no uh, pro elements in here. So let's just give this a go here. I'm going to remove this guy, which is a pro element. Uh, so I will remove him altogether. And what I'll do is I, I think I'll upload um, uh, I think I'll upload myself on here. I've got an image that I can upload. So I'm going to go to um, where is images? There we go. And I'm going to upload an image. And I've got one on my computer, which would be a pretty good uh, good one to use. So I'll just go to. One of my courses here where I recently saved um, saved an image that would be useful. All right, so this is just a Bitmoji of myself that I'm going to upload here of me leaning on the desk. I'll make it big enough so it looks natural. And I'll leave this guy on here for the duration of the video. So. I will drag him right back to the beginning of this slide and all the way to the end of the slide. And that should be good. I think that this is auto saving. Yes, it is. I'll just hit the save anyway. Now, if I hit export, now I get these options to export. So you can see download MP4 is um, not available. Definitely don't want to do that anyway. I want to export this to YouTube. So if I hit on uh, YouTube here, uh, it should take me there. Now, um, I have a, some generic music in here that I got from them, but it wasn't paid music. So that shouldn't be an issue at all. So I'll hit YouTube. And it's going to connect me to my YouTube account. And that is my associated with my Gmail account. All right, so I want to use that. And I'm just going to put this one as unlisted because the, there's nothing special in that Powtoon that I want to share. And I have to leave this as public on here, so that's fine. Uh, I'll call this education. Give this a description. All 
All right, and I will hit next. And obviously I can't go full HD, so I'll just use the HD quality, upload it with watermarks, and it should export it for me now over to my YouTube channel. Here's a, a preview of it in Powtoon. You can certainly share this, uh, this Powtoon link. I prefer to share it from YouTube because YouTube will let me add closed captions to it and will let me embed it into my course pages.